Oil prices have a big reversal this week after the previous week trading from 80 down to 73. This week we saw oil prices rally from 73 to 80, trading up higher four out of the five days this week and getting north of $80, but ending up the week just slightly below. Uh, a lot happening today, but clearly the big news was that Russia announced it was going to be cutting production by about 500,000 barrels per day. That's what gave oil a boost uh, to end the week higher. Clearly oil though, taking a step back, we've seen some pretty big weeks down and then up. Oil remains in a pretty tight range over the last two and a half months between $70 and $83 a barrel. And while we have seen those big moves, we still are within that range. So we have not broken out as of this point. Um, oil, a very key barometer for the global economy, is still down 35% since the, mid, since the highs were put in last June. Again, oil ending the week higher, but still very much near the lows of the recent move. Now, what does this all have to do with volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you'll notice that volatility has been trending lower as the aforementioned decline in prices over the last seven to eight months has incurred. However, we saw volatility kind of flatten out and to this week was no different as prices started to move higher towards the upper end of that range. We didn't break out yet, but as we get towards the upper end of that range, volatility does start to slowly level out. It'll be interesting to see if we break out to the upside as we are very close, will volatility bid? Uh, those are kind of getting outside the band of expectations. We talk about breaking out of ranges, but we have not seen that volatility ending the week relatively flat. Lastly, let's talk about next week. What do we have next week? Well, next week's highlight for most markets, including energy, will be the inflation data, CPI and PPI, and how will the Fed react? Likewise, with oil, we are going to get the inventory numbers midweek, so it'll be interesting to get those uh, and how these production cuts in Russia have any longstanding effects. How will they affect trade? moving forward. So oil prices after a big down week two weeks ago have a big up week this week after Russia cuts production numbers and we look forward to next week's CPI and PPI as well as inventories.